this is the lovely opening screen and welcome anyone who just got here. I'm going to be streaming the... <laughs> Let me start over. I'm Kaya Folio and I am one of the writers on the Girl Genius webcomic and series of novels. Uh, tonight I'm going to be streaming the demo for Rain Games uh, Girl Genius Adventures in Castle Heterodyne uh, video game available on Steam and you can play the demo now but also it will be coming out for the Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, you can see on the side of our screen, let's see if I gesture, if I go like this down below, you can see that um, Rain has also done Mesmer, World to the West, Tesla Grad, and just let me move my big old self for a minute. There's the Tesla Grad trailer up there in the corner as well, but I'm covering it up because I'm selfish like that. All right, so I'm going to get started, and um, anytime I die in the co in the um, in the game, you can rest assured that it's on purpose, so you can see the funny dialogue when I die, and, and not because I am a total scrub. So here we go, and I deleted my uh, game that was in volume one, which is the one I did last week. So. So, I am on normal mode, the way the game was designed to be played. The enemies will pose a threat, but uh, that only makes your inevitable crushing of their spirits that much sweeter. Mooha! <laughs> right, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, it says, if you're running low on time, you can use the power lantern to reheat leftovers. So, I don't think we get the power lantern in this demo, but um, yeah, it's, it's something to look forward to. And Agatha says, right, so the castle is a wounded mechanical monster as likely to bite my hand as anyone else's. And it's already dealing with an imposter on top of all the regular convicts. I'm just as likely to confuse it even more. They're all probably armed to the teeth with me being their only common enemy. Huh. I could scream, but I don't want to make it any easier for them. I'd better find the library and those castle blueprints fast. Oh. This place is a mess, but it seems calm enough. Oh, and then somebody says, hey, newbie. What? Yeah, you, the live one. Welcome to hell. Who are... I'm Wilhelm. Nice to meet you. I'm Agatha Clay. And, um, uh-oh. Hang on a second while I... Yeah, no, that's fine. I'll do it in a minute. Just, just know that I can't see chat right now. Um, I need to blend in. These people are dangerous criminals. Do you want to fight? Ah, nah, ask me again after lunch. But I'll show you around. Okay, and so you can see that we have lore discovered. And we have a quest. Follow Wilhelm to the kitchen. But first, I'm going to... <clears throat> There, now I can actually see uh, chat again. Yay! <sighs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I wonder, um, I know there's going to be a, an opening cinematic that tells you who the heck we are. I'm not sure how that'll work. Okay, so before I, I follow Wilhelm, the thing you have to know about me when I play is that I want to break everything. So I'll, I'll, oh, and I got some stuff. I found a resource. Find them in the world when exploring and spend them on upgrades and other interactions in the game. Super. All right, so yeah, right now I can break things by rolling into them. Oh, and we have to look around because here are some lovely Jaeger monster statues. Very pretty. And there's a... <laughs> portrait up there of some folks we don't like very much, but they're here anyway. And... Yeah. I... Yeah. Oh, and you know... Oh no, we can look down. Thank goodness I can't fall into that, or I would die so often. I would be falling into that constantly. Um, yep, break all the things. Well, you know, you need that stuff later. It's really important. So another thing um, that I think I touched on last time that you guys should know is 
so somewhere in the depths of time, I learned to play um, with the controls inverted. I, I want to push my joystick to the left and have the camera go to the right, and that's just kind of how I tend to um, tend to want things. Um, and I actually practiced this game the way that most games these days expect you to play it. Uh, so you push the, cam the, the joystick to the right and the camera goes to the right, which was really, really difficult at first, but now you can actually change that. So if I were starting over, I would um, absolutely go in and, and check the... Um, oh, and here's something I can look at. Anyway, if I were starting over, I would absolutely go into the controls and I would change it to, to suit my myself. But eh, it's fine. So it's nice to know that I can. The other thing that I was able to do before I look at that thing is... The camera, you can set the camera to go so much faster or slower than this. Um, and at first it was super fast and I had to figure out, I had to go in and figure out how to make it not zip around quite so much. So let's see what's in this book, shall we? It's a Castle Heterodyne guest book. The Baron was gracious enough to let me visit this magnificent bastion. It practically radiates glory and um, greatness, ingenuity and... um. History ooze from every crevice. The writing gets compressed. You have to lean in and squint to make it out. I think the castle is watching me. I feel like a mouse waltzing around, blind to the tomcat crouching above me. A regular house makes regular noises, but this place, it's like it's breathing down my neck. I actually thought it was reading over my shoulder, deciding if I was gonna... <clears throat> The rest of the text has been covered by a stamp bearing the logo and name of the Tourism Board of Mechanicsburg emblazoned with the full five skulls. Somebody is a bit touchy about their image. All right, and um, up on the walls here, we've got lots of lovely portraits. Uh, there's General Crijan and, oh, I triggered something. Ah, the pesky door has locked us in and I forgot my wrench. Hmm. Well, you're gonna need a wrench if you wanna fix this place. Hey, Clay, why don't you go and grab the wrench from that statue over there? Oh, alrighty. You don't need it anymore, right? Just watch out for traps. Hey, right. Once you've got it, come back and use the wrench on this wrench lever next to me to open the door. Hmm, okay, well, let's go. Let's look at some art a little bit more. They gave me a list of artwork they wanted to put in the game and I had to go fish it all out from all the different pages. It was terrible. All right, so. Huh? What's this? So this is Faustus Heterodyne. Pretty imposing, even in stone. I wonder what he must have been like in the flesh. Oh, I'll help you there, Al. <laughs> Agatha, he was a lunatic. Okay. Um, all right, we want his wrench. And it looks like we can get his wrench. Woo. Whoa, hey Clay, watch out. And now if I want to get out. Oh, I mentioned the thing about traps, right? Watch your head. Okay. Whew, should have brought a helmet. This place is falling apart as we are not OSHA compliant. Weapon unlocked, wrench, and use the wrench to attack enemies and destroy certain obstacles. Attack multiple times to perform a combo. Okay, very good. So, now when I want to break things, I don't have to roll into them. I can just hit them with my wrench. Also, I find this little thing really intriguing because things like this do not sit in a game without some kind of purpose, but I don't know what it is yet. So I'm really excited to find out. Uh, one thing I do know from uh, the playthrough that I've already done is there's a lot of stuff in here where when I get um, when I get more stuff, I'm going to be able to come back. So that's really nice. Also, yes, I want all of this stuff. Oh, I don't even know what that is, but it looks really useful. What's that? I want that. Can I go down there? Oh, I can jump down. Boing. Okay. So. Hmm. All right. More statues. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the other thing is if I, I hold down B, I can run, which I keep forgetting. All right. 
and I'm not going to talk to Wilhelm yet because I want to break some more stuff. There. Okay. Um, also, I just apropos of nothing, I think these are so pretty. I want to hang them all over my house. All right. Okay, so what does Wilhelm say? Go on, use the wrench to crank this stupid thing. All right. There we go. There, that should do it. Not bad, looks like you've handled a wrench before. Ha, yeah, actually, I used to help my dad in the mechanic shop. The mission shop. Don't matter, in here newbies get kitchen duty. Hope you can cook. Uh, chicken planks have proven quite unadaptive to the realm of reality. Spontaneous combustion is only recorded in greater numbers among corn growing in the radioactive waste. So fantastic. Ooh. Ding ding! Say hello to the rest of your life in Castle Heterodyne. Home to terrible abominations capable of bringing the most sinister of doom upon anyone that takes a wrong step. That's just us prisoners. The castle itself is far more temperamental. What are you in for, anyway? <laughs> I poisoned 37 people who complained about my cooking. Ha! Well, you still can't be any worse than the guy we've got now. He's supposedly a mechanic. Ha! I'd rather eat his engines. Now, the door that leads to the kitchen has, of course, slammed shut on us. I think there should be a control mechanism hidden somewhere around that broken utility vent next to the door. Is there anything in this place that isn't a broken mess? Ha! Return to me when you're done. And don't forget the traps! Oh! Dodge roll. Use Agatha's dodge roll ability to avoid damage from traps and enemies. Cool. Oh no, Jaeger, Jaeger safety helmets. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. So here's some more artwork. Here's uh, some artwork that they clearly got by using the uh, the time machine that they're someday going to have. Uh, <laughs> this is nicer than having to dodge roll into everything. And up oh, here's another book I can read. Reception journal, 160888. New girl arrived today. It was all up in a fuzz that the Baron would rue the day that. Yeah, oh, whatever. Same spiel as the rest of the sprocket heads around here. She refused the uniform I gave her. It was even one of the nicer ones. No more than a second-degree burn on it. She said green didn't contrast well with her eyes. I finally gave her a turquoise one as she was trying to scoop out my eyes to prove an aesthetic point. Tiktoff and returned with the uniform and told me to soak it in hypochlorite bleach. He says the crimson has been proved to decrease productivity and increases the chances of unionization. Hmm. Apparently, color, the color theory has really advanced in the last couple of years. It's perfect for a children's hospital. Yay! Okay, so um, gotta look around back here just in case. So this, I actually don't know if I can break this, but I don't think I can break it now. But doesn't that look like I should be able to break it? I just think I should. And oh, there's something I can see. Jeez, this place is falling apart. But I wonder how deep it goes. And the answer is, I don't know, it's dark down there. So I have actually played through this, but not so much that I remember everything. So I might miss a couple of things here and there, but I hope not. Oh, spider webs. I'm not going to talk to her yet because I still want to look around. Oh, there's the Beast of the Rails, and there's the Paris Black Market, and a Scaphandrian Priestess. That's cool. And oh, something else. Wow, well, oh, Adam and Lilith. What are they? Oh, it's really Punch and Judy. Guess this was their home before Beetleburg. I can't believe. Nah, there's no time. That lore discovered. Oh, uh, and the lore looks like it's a collectible, so collectibles are good. I like to be able to uh, to dig things up. Okay, I don't think these cracks are going to be things I can break because it just doesn't look like the right place. But I don't know. There's something over there. I know what that is. And I can't use these yet, but, you know, look at these things. Clearly I should be able to do something with them later. 
so what was I supposed to do? I'm very distractible. Oh, I was supposed to break things. This might, I know I said I'd be doing this for an hour, this might take a little longer, so if anybody has to run away, don't worry, I won't be, I won't be broken up. <sighs> like these crates. Okay, here's where I'm going. Oh. This is usually where I die a couple of times, because I'm awkward. Uh, but it's on purpose, so you can see the funny stuff, and not because I'm bad at games. Oh, death ahead. Yeah, and see, look at that. It even warns me, and it still kills me all the time. But this time, I won't forget. But that piece of ground looks really, really suspicious. And I need to roll over it. There, okay. Oh, it still got me for a little bit. Um, but, uh, Anything else I can break? No. Friend. Yeah, no, it won't be my friend. I know this already. Uh, there's... Oh, I can jump from here. There's another one of those things that I can't use right now, but I guess I'll be able to go over there later. And it's something's glaring, so it tells me that there will be something worth going over there for. But not yet. in this just kill me. Hey, and Wilhelm says, I see you made it out alive. Well done. There were traps everywhere. And barely a scratch on you. Now, come on, let's get moving. Oh, I'm sorry, Wilhelm. I have to break things. It's really important. You can't just leave things lying around unbroken. It's, it's just not, not how it's done. Oh. And besides, here is a lovely secret thing with presents, yay! I'm sure it's gonna make me need all those later. Uh, let's see. I had to unsubscribe from all of the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdoms um, groups that I follow online. I like to look at the cute fan art, but I want no spoilers, and I don't get to play that game for a while because A, I need to pack a bunch of Kickstarter stuff, and B, I need to um, play through the beta of this a whole bunch, so that's going to eat my entire brain. I, I love that they use some of our travel stickers. You know, all of these, and oh, there's the awful tower. Very nice. Okay, I don't think there's, oh, I wonder if that goes up later. Look at that. Doesn't that look like something that should do something? I don't think it does something right now, but um, I think that's going to be something later. <laughs> I keep forgetting to look at, uh... Oh, oh, artifacts can be traded up to, uh, upgrade your, uh, general constitution, or you could save them in the vain hope that their value will increase in a decade or so. Who knows? Okay, cool, because last time I played, I did find a couple of artifacts, and I wasn't sure what they were for. So now I know. And, uh, Wilhelm says, Hey, Clay, down here! Just jump down and follow me, we're almost there! Oh, and one more thing. Some traps can be used to our advantage. Watch this. There she goes. Boing. <laughs> Springboards. Okay. But first, we have to look around from up here. There's a thing. There's another thing I can't use. I'm gonna jump. Boing. <laughs> okay. Boing. There we go. Nice. And there's a lovely thing down there. Look, there's another thing I want down there. I'm sure I can't have it yet, though. Although I have an idea. Maybe... Oh, fish guys. Hello, fish guys. Okay. Oh, one of those. I can't do that. Idea... Oh, no. I can't have it yet. 
So that thing I want, it's on the other side of these big rocks. And I think I have a suspicion that I might be able to break it, but I don't think I can get back here to do it. So. Well, it seems the castle is in an extra foul mood today because nothing is working. Sometimes it spits out, spits the ionization engines out of their sockets, cutting power to the large areas. Ionization engines? Yeah, see that big box over there? Just push it back in the socket and voila! Okay, now let's do that. Gotta push some blocks around. That's how you know it's a good game. Okay. There we go. You're learning, new kid. Follow me, we're almost there. I should have broke things. Can I go back? Finally, here's the kitchen, and here's our lousy cook. Hey, Moloch, we've got a new girl here. Wilhelm! Hello. Pay attention, fool. She says she can actually cook, so show her where everything is and do as she says. Got it? Got it. I'm pretty sure what Agatha said was she poisoned people who complained about her cooking and not that she could actually cook, but we hear what we want to hear when we talk to people. <laughs> Good. See you later, Clay. Thanks, Wilhelm. Oh, isn't she wonderful? Um, yeah, I like her already, and I really appreciate you not telling her who I am. Huh? Ah! <sighs> Quiet! I don't want to hurt you, but I will if I if you act stupid. And you can keep quiet. If you can keep quiet, we'll call it even after you threaten me in Castle Wolfenbach. I, I can work with that. Good. I need to get to the library. Can you help me out? Err. You'll have to get through the kitchen first. The castle's been on edge ever since the other heterogyne girl entered. I haven't been able to get in all day. There's a switch somewhere that controls the power to the kitchen's, um, self-defense mechanism. Ha. Huh. I'll figure something out. Dingbot unlocked! Oh boy! Use the Dingbot to get to places Agatha can't reach. When the Dingbot is released, press the Dingbot button to switch between it and Agatha. Press and hold the Dingbot button to return the Dingbot to Agatha. Okay. And the Dingbot button is the lower plus key there, so... Alright. Cower. Cower! Why won't you cower? Okay. Um... So again, before we do any of that, I'm gonna break some stuff. Mm, oh. oh, there's the kitchen. Ah! No trespassing! Be careful! There's no getting through there, believe me. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Not even my little dingbot could survive this. He can probably make himself useful in another way, though. Okay, that's cool, but first we have to look at all the things. We have to, let's see. Oh, can I get back? Can I, no. Was something I wanted to look at back here. Mm, but maybe not. Oh, there's Barry. And... Nope, I think I've done everything that I can do over here, so... Okay. Alright, so here's a glittery thing. Oh, what's a glittery thing say? A cookbook! Seven ways to skin a cat, and one reason you shouldn't. Uh-oh. I'll leave the cooking for later. Good. Yes, you should do that. Cooking. All right. I guess that's everything I get to break and look at. And here we are in the freezer. Woo. And there's a little hole. So now, let's put down the dingbot. Woo. And there he goes. And the, the dingbot is already tired of our crap. So, there we go. Look, look at that face. He's just like, yeah, okay, fine. You want me to work? Here I go. Oh, uh, this is where I will try to get this fast, but I keep forgetting order. This is a puzzle. Because it's a puzzle, I am continually forgetting what I'm doing. Alright, let's go this way. I don't think I want to go there yet. All right, that wasn't it. Um, all right, let's put that back. <laughs> and those of you who've already played through this demo are probably screaming at me by now. <laughs> what are you doing? But I would just like to call attention to the 
cute ticking noise that the Dinbot makes when he runs. I hate this part because this is where I prove to everyone what an absolute clown I am. Um, I don't know about this. It's a good thing the Dingbot is cute because here I am flailing around trying to remember how to do this and kind of forgetting what I want to do. to him because I put that one back down there. So I'll just um just go fix that, shall I? I don't want to leave the little guy behind. Alright. You'd think that I would remember this after playing. Oh! Alright. Well I'm still going to go get the little guy. So stream soon uh, because I know I want to get that guy and um, and now I can't because I triggered a cutscene <laughs> ah! uh, oh the castle got her what are you doing blood stop you'll you'll collapse my souffle what oh dear sorry that worked well it is a kitchen now move I am not a kitchen, I am Castle Heterodyne! Whew! I thought you were a real Heterodyne! I am! Then why isn't it listening to you? Interesting, isn't it? We should probably get out of here. Wait, we? I'm not some minion you can just drag around. Minion? Whatever do you mean? I was just suggesting we don't head back in there. Oh, well, fair enough. Follow me and I'll take you somewhere safe. Oh, I want to go back. Oh, no. Oh, like I said, I'll do this again. 
Maybe not tonight, but I will do it again. And now I know that you can actually mess up in the demo. Although I know that in the game you'll be able to go back later, it's just right now. It's, uh... I think I am recording it actually. I think I managed to set, um, to set Twitch to record this. Um, <laughs> unfortunate speedrun. Oh, that's an excellent idea. Okay, the porcelain, the porcelain plates have a sinister shine to them like a cat waiting to pounce. There's no cutlery here, but I'll keep my distance from any tableware just in case. All right, someone has pointed out that I can switch back to the dingbot. Thank you. Yes. Can I go there? No. Look at that. I didn't mess up completely after all. So you got to see me all flustered for very little reason. Okay. All right. So here I am back up with the dingbot. And I need to go back downstairs see if I can rescue my little dingbot friend, so. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's try not to die. I don't want to. Here we go. All right. Um, I don't think that's what I wanted to do, though. All right. Attention. Shame on me. I'm going to make the same um, excuse I made last time I played, which is, I get really nervous. <laughs> I get really nervous when I play in front of people. Okay, that's the one I wanted up. So let's go back upstairs. I do like that the camera is pretty speedy. Like I said, the camera can be even more speedy. But I think it was... All right, so there's my little guy. Oh, and I could interact with him. But first, let's just, you know. Oh, so cute, okay. Oh, Sergeant Blueberry. And we found Sergeant Blueberry. And he has disappeared. Where has Sergeant Blueberry gone? Ooh, where indeed? <laughs> All right, and now I can go back to Agatha, Boop. like that. And did I get everything back there? I think I got everything back there. Um. All right, I'm there. So I'm just going to hold it. And now the dingbot is back in my pocket. You can see that the little dingbot down there is now shown sitting down. So now all that's left is to break everything. All right, the oh, presents. Okay. It's the Castle Heterodyne gift basket. Yay. <laughs> A little portrait of, uh, let's leave that there, and, um, if I remember right, that is that lost city that they found not too long ago in, um, in England, and, um, I think they had some good parties back in the day. I'm, I'm getting some Karazhan vibes here. Um, no ghosts that I've seen, though. And what is that? What is that? Oh, okay. That's some uh, flashbacks to. Okay. What's this? Oh, it's a portrait. Dramatic. Something with this portrait seems off, though. Hmm. What could it be? Perhaps it's this. Let's try it. Whee! Oh, and it's got an auto save. You see, it just said "don't uh, done saving," so that's nice. Utensils should be kept away from electrical equipment, French fries, and spiders. I don't know why the French fries don't want them, but oh, what have we got here? <gasps> More gift baskets. I got Faustus's blood sample, and it's an artifact. And one of the tool t one of the tips earlier said that I might want those later. Oh yeah. Stuff. 
Woohoo! Stuff! And there she is! The, the fabulous Cerise from uh, the current story that's going on. She was really popular. Everybody liked her. She got around. And here's something sparkly that I can look at. Does not open from this side, which tells me that there will probably be secret passages later. And um, well, another place that I am grateful I cannot fall. And uh, just to make sure, nope, can't kill. I can't break those. Do not take financial advice from a piece of writing on a loading screen, or any advice for that matter. Well, hold on, it gives me it gives me game advice. Uh oh, now I'm suspicious. Uh, backtracking is a fun game element. Uh, yeah, I I like being able to go. <laughs> um, I like being able to go back and look at all those lovely breakable boxes, and I can't go in there. But I want to break them. Break all the boxes. And there's another gift basket. But I can't have it yet. Oh no, yellow slow is not, snow is not lemon flavored. It's pineapple. Hmm. Okay, here's Moloch. He says, we just have to go through the cellar hit. Ah! Stingrays, take cover! Alright. What are those? Deadly devices of doom! Can't you turn them off or something? Hmm. I'll take a look around. So, um, this seems like as good a time as any to get myself killed. Um, so there they are, and they're very cute. They have little... Oh, they don't see me, though. <laughs> I taunt them. Do I have a taunt? I don't think I do. Well, they can't see me. That's, that's good. Uh, oh! Did you hear that? Ah! That's the, uh, music that's... Uh, ah, and they're shooting at me! They're shooting at me! Ah! Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Let's go look around. See, oh, it's a chicken. Oh, they blow up. Okay. Alright, I have more stuff to push. But I want to look around a little bit first. There's also stuff to break. And something to look at. Empty. Wine is always the first casualty. Oh no. Alright, oh, there's another little ding bong hole, but let's explore just a little bit more before. I, oh, more, more of those cute little guys. Alright. It's playing the danger music. <laughs> it's playing the lookout. It's dangerous music. Okay, so I see a dingbot hole. And there it is. And then also we have some stuff to push around. So I think I will push things around first. And then I will send the dingbot on some adventures. Ah! Ugh. Alright, you can tell that I still haven't quite got used to the X and Y, um, the, the camera being opposite what I'm used to. Uh, first things I do when I uh, play Zelda, I go in and I change the direction of the joysticks, and I set the voices to Japanese, because I really don't like listening to the English voices. Um, and also I'm trying to practice my Japanese. I'm very bad at it, but I do enjoy playing with it. It's, it's very fun. Because, yeah, I'm a big ol' weeb. Um, okay, so let's put down the dingbot. And the dingbot is still very unimpressed with us. You want me to do what? Dingbot has a mind of his own, and he wants to go look at that other place first. He says, yeah, I know you want me to go through there, but I think there's some cool stuff over there. And here we are, we're up top. You can't see Agatha down there. Down there. And oh yeah, this was a good choice. I have a lever I can pull. And okay, that's cool. I wonder what'll happen. I hope that chicken plank doesn't wander over and 
run into that. Oh no, Agatha's safe. That's good. Okay, so now we'll do what, what she actually wants us to do. <laughs> I am a creation of mad science. I do not do what the mad scientist wants me to do. At least not right away. You can't let them think they can push you around. I want to go there, but I can't because there's a screen. Let's go over here. What's over here? Nothing! Nothing is over here. Okay. Yes. Typical. Right. Okay, well, I want to go through this. Um, so I'll go back to Agatha, and I'll bet that she can do something. Ah, all right. There is a lever that I can pull. But there's going to be some cranky little bomb guys in the way. And some stuff to break. So. All right. All right, there's that. And, hmm, can't do that yet. What's in here? Oh. another switch that I want to use my wrench on. And more artwork. What is that? What are we looking at? Oh, okay. Oh, there's another switch. What does this one do? Actually, kind of messed myself up. Well, let's undo that. There we go. Good to know I can, though. So, so let's go pull that switch. Aha! And now, go back to the dingbot. Eh, who still can't get through there? What? Okay. If I go back here, does that help? This is another puzzle that I'm too. Ah, that that did it. That did it. So, and I see another lock of puzzle over there. But first, I'm going to look around because I know this is here. Okay, first of all. I want you all to admire this very cute little thing with its little little tail and spines and feet. It's it's got little hands. It's just cute. I don't know. It's just so cute. <laughs> and now I can unlock it. And I can get more mats. Hooray! Now I'll go do my actual job. And I'm going to once again ask you all to bear with me because I am very clumsy with these. No, no, ah! And this one is especially rough on me because every time I mess it up, every time I mess this up, eh? ah, there we go. it boots me out and I have to try again. But it won't boot me out because I did it. Yay, I'm getting better at it. Okay. All right. And now I could run all the way back to Agatha and then she will pick me up, which is really cute. But I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to go back here. And um, let's go into the little sitting room here. We can explore. We can, who's that? Who's that? It's Bacchus Heterodyne, maker and taster of only the finest beverages and poisons. Whether the poison immunity was an inter intentional self-improvement or a side effect of his infamous indiscriminate consumption of any kind of strong distilled liquid is still a mystery. Hmm. Well, I like him. He looks like a happy guy. <sighs> Here we've got, so we are in the wine cellar right now, so that makes sense that there would be portraits of old Bacchus there. And there's another one of those, and I'm really looking forward to them, but 
And I honestly, I am not pulling your leg. I don't actually know what this does. <laughs> but I know what this does. 101 poisons to try before you die by Bacchus Heterodyne. I wonder how many I would try before I died. Probably not very many. Oh, and another thing. Transcript of BH Poison and R481, Tangerine's Kiss, commonly used by Skrull assassins, causes large orange, pustu <laughs> large orange pustules and a painful paralysis within minutes. Texture is like goopy the oatmeal, and the flavor is akin to an aged chevre. And is that almonds? No, nah, nutmeg, patwee. Actually, I think it sounds really good. Fetch me a chaser. I would I would absolutely try that. Um, if there is one thing I like, it is stuff made of goat. <laughs> I like goat cheese. I like goat's milk. I can't drink a lot of milk because it makes me sad, but it's delicious. And the goat, goat's milk is really good. I'm just blathering. I'm just like, I like hearing myself talk bleep bloop. Uh, okay, so anyway, here's this switch, and I'm going to do this with it. Yes. Oh, boy. And now I have... Oh, and you can see the quests over to the side. It says, find the Dingbot Sergeants, and we have found one out of 12. Pretty sure that we're only going to find the one in this, uh, in this demo. And defeat the Stingrays, zero out of two. So. Let's break some stuff and oh no! Haha, <laughs> missed me. Missed me! Look how confident I am I'm gonna break things and then I'll come and. Ah! Maybe that wasn't the best choice. <laughs> but I got them. Great job! I'm coming over. Okay, here comes Moloch. Yeah, it turns out I can't just jump off of things and die, so I really. It's fine, I'll die of something. Something will get me. I'm, I am overconfident. Uh, I tend to run into things. Also, I'm really, really bad at game strategy. I tend to just sort of run up and hit things a lot and hope it works. So some games are a lot more forgiving than others. I think this one is pretty forgiving in that respect, at least um, so far. But, you know. Oh, also, I'd just like to point out the... Um, on the wall here, we, we have... Um, a shot of uh, the under underneath of the island of the Rat Queen there. So. Oh yeah, and I, I spent some I actually um, spent some time the other night naming the next few volumes. So uh, the what did I call volume twenty one? I don't remember what I called it. Um, eh, well anyway, uh, volume twenty three is Escape from the Island of the Rat Queen because I just love the name. Oh, he says, ha, things have moved around here. Well, there should be a safe area just up ahead. Lead the way, minion. Minion? I'm not some cowardly. Ah, chicken clanks, take cover. Okay, I still think these should be owls. Ha, I'll take care of them. Ah, gotta find a way to shut off those clank dispensers and get through all this rubble as well. Hmm, what could chicken clanks be good for? I know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing that. Ah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the, the Storm King. Zombie Storm King. Is that stuff? Oh, I can't get to it. <laughs> Things I can't break because I can't get to them. Okay. Alright, so Moloch's gonna be a big old coward. Oh, hey! I can use those guys to break the. Oh, no! use them to break stuff. Fortunately, it doesn't seem to have a very wide aggro range, so I can stand over here and it can't get me. And I want to go in there, but... Ah! It sees me! Okay. Um... Uh, it's a good thing they're not very smart. What's this? Secret Room of Death. Do not enter. Oh, you'd think they wouldn't need the second part of that warning, but they really do because this is players we're talking about and we all really want to go in places like that. Sadly, I don't think we can at the moment. So, you know if there's a big sign that says don't go in here, that, you know, players will 
totally try. I want to break that. Got me. Oh, clumsy, clumsy. Look how cute they are. <laughs> so since these are chicken clanks, I am going to make my own for something. And I'm going to call them um, Obstreperous Widgets Large and Obstreperous Widgets Light, otherwise known as Owls. And Come on, I want one over here so I can break this. I don't know if I get anything for breaking this, but... Uh, no, 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 I want to break those. Oh, come on, come on. Ah! I want to break those rocks. Oh, it's not falling in an easy place. Okay, there we go. And did I get anything? I got some nuts. That's good. Ah, run, 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 run. Okay. All right, now... I did see that down there, I did open up a little dingbot hole. So I wanna go in there and see what's in there. Oh, and this is very cute. Professional courtesy. They don't hate me because I'm an adorable little clank like them. Yay! <laughs> it's nice, they won't kill me. And here I am, once again in the walls. You've got to have your obligatory luminous fungus, because I don't know what kind of fantasy story it would be without your obligatory luminous fungus. And oh, 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 I got a hat! Oh, so fancy. It is the Dingbot Drill. Equip the drill from the radial menu and press the tool button to enter and exit the ground. Dig through soft soil to avoid obstacles and hide from enemies. Very good. All right. See how fancy I am. Best hat. Now let's see. Do I need the? Where do I want to go? Where do I need the hat? Can I go down here? Can I go over there? Oh, I can. Okay. I'm pretty sure I remembered that there was something to do with the drill here. So, let's see if I can remember. There we go. I always forget which button. I have a really bad habit of forgetting to read my quest text, so, uh, doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. anyway, we can dig around and it's very cute and it's fun. And the noises are satisfying. Boing. Okay. And it's another puzzle. Oh, oh and it has a blocker. Oh, oh right into it. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo this one, aren't I? Uh, oh no. Oh. Uh, okay. Is that. Is that. Oh, I think I'm safe now. Oh, did I get it? I got it! Oh! I guess practice is helping. That, this type of puzzle does kind of remind me of the ones that were in a couple of the Ratchet and Clank games that I always ended up... So Phil and I used to do a lot of games where we would play and we would hand things back and forth to each other. Um, and I always ended up doing that kind of game because I really like that kind of puzzle, so... Let's see... <laughs> the Jaegers adopting one of the Dingbots and... Agatha just being like, whatever. Yeah, this is this is Hat Dingbot, and um, his thing is that. All right, so. Oh yeah, okay. So I went back to Agatha, and we can just call the Dingbot back again. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. You know, I just kind of need to get myself. You know what? I I will let the chicken. Oh, the chickens are done. Fine. Next time there's a way to get killed, I will let myself get killed so you can see Zola taunt me because it's very funny. <laughs> Get this door open before anything else turns up. Should be a wrench lever right in there. Okay. Right in where? Right in, right in where? Oh, okay. Good, good. Yeah. So this, I, I don't know if there's anything I can do with that bullseye, but man, doesn't it look like I should be able to do something with it? But, but if I can, I don't know what yet. So. 
And there we go. Doors are open. And like I said, I always forget that I can run. You've been here a while. Have you seen the other heterodyne? The girl, no way. Thought she might be you. We should probably still keep a distance. Now, where's this safe place of yours? Uh, right this way. Follow me. Okay. No, things to break. Things to break. Should be around here somewhere. Ah! Here you are, my lady. It's right through here. You! Ah! Run! Hey, what's this, strays? You know Dr. Silas? He's my old teacher! Oh, so we're in trouble. Let's get out of here. Ah, let us in. That, that was Miss Clay, the worst student I've ever had. It's her fault I'm in here. She ruined my life. What, Miss Clay? You said you were here because of the heterodyne girl. She is the heterodyne girl, and I'm going to kill her for what she did to me. And there they go. Favorite folks. Oh, seems we're in the clear. Follow me in here. All right. Okay. Now. There he goes. And a little more lore discovery. Like I said, I see that the lore is numbered, so... I'm guessing that that's another style of collectible that we can try to um, try to get. And I can't go back through there, I know, because I've tried. Um, and here's another lovely one of these things. It's very pretty. I like it. I kind of want one. My house is so full of stuff. And here is Castle Wolfenbach. I can't even tell if he's compensating. Oh no, dick jokes. Oh no, sorry. I think that we might have made that in the comic. <laughs> Oops. We try so hard to be civilized. We're, we're not good at it, but we do our best. Um, there's uh, Martellus's weird little clank. And there's some uh, some creatures and some Geisterdom. And, and there's... <laughs> Oh no, the evil king of the all men, or whatever, I forget. Oh no. Okay, so this is another thing that I have to call your attention to, because I think it's very cute. It says, do not feed. I am not sure what this guy would eat, because if you look in there, you'll see that it's, it's a roast turkey with a fish head bolted to it. So I don't know who's keeping a roast turkey with a fish head for, as a pet, but <laughs> it's just horrible. <laughs> All right, so I think I've smashed everything and looked at everything in here. And we'll say goodbye to Fluffy. Bye, Fluffy. And I can close this door. I'm not sure if I need to close this door, but I can. Um, and an economy based on the availability of nuts and bolts is most certainly screwed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jokes. Well, well, this looks better. Huh, it seems the castle has shifted the rooms since last time I was here. This place probably needs repairs. We used to call this area the hub, since it's fairly central to the castle. As long as the rooms don't shift around too much. Repairs? Bah! I am perfect! Ignore that. You, you are perfect, dear. You're lovely. All right. Ah, cozy. Yeah, a great place to take a break from constant mortal danger, but I guess you're too busy for that. Huh. Well, some parts in this area are broken. I'll take a look at that later. Hmm. Here's the lounge area. What's that contraption over there? Oh, that thing. Ancient heterodyne technology. Servants use them to get around the castle quickly and without any traps. Of course, it no longer works. Repairs not working. I hear nothing but complaints. <laughs> Poor castle. Ah, finally a proper lab. Ha. Well, I'll try to get this place up to snuff. Silence, Ant! I am tired of your endless prattling. You, claimant, young heterodyne girl. 
Come face me in the arena if you wish to prove your claim. Uh-oh. Well, I was wondering what to do next. Hopefully this arena is on the way to the library. Oh dear. Well, before you go, any chance you can help me fix this coffee machine? Coffee, you say? I'll see what I can do. And we have found our first fast travel point, which is very nice. Um, fast travel is always useful. Uh, and so here is the coffee machine, and it is broken, but... Ah, fascinating. A rather clever double boiler with a percolating steamer. If I simply tear out this condenser and... Hepler wrench! Here you go. Acid filter and a medium-sized glass tube. Right away. I need more coffee beans. This boiler is about to run. Still not your minion, you know. Large hammer! Yes, mistress! And the coffee machine gives us health potions. Agatha can recover health with potions made from the coffee machine. Refill your potion at the coffee machine or at one of its many extensions throughout the castle. So this is exactly what I'm talking about, about one of the things that they needed to change around to make it work as a game. And I love this idea that the, the health potions are the coffee. Um, in the comic, the coffee was out in town and, and didn't have anything to do with the, the castle, but I think this is really cute and it, it's a lot of fun. So now here's a workbench. And here you can see I can interact with the workbench. And now you can see why I was so interested in collecting all of those things. Because I can upgrade my wrench. And I'm going to do it. Uh, so let's see. Oh, and I need more stuff if I want to upgrade my wrench again. But that's okay, because I'm going to look around a little more. Let's, um... These little tiny... Okay, so this time I will start with these cute... Look at these. They're little representations of the castle. And I can put the... Oh, no, I accidentally drank some of my coffee. Ah. Okay, there. I can put the castle down. The castle, the dingbot down. And the dingbot can go into the tiny castle. Into the secret dingbot lounge. <laughs> Which is so funny. They have... They have little chairs and they have a picture of Moxana because of course they would and um, let's see what else they have um, a little trophy up there it looks like they've caught themselves uh, one of those steam cats and um, what else do they have in here it's so cute there's a little throne that I currently cannot sit on, and I, I want to know why. Um, I want to sit on the throne. And there is the... So this is a little worrying. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that. Like, oh, it's the mighty Dinkbot god. Uh-oh. Um, there's one of the Jaeger statues. And over here we have another Jaeger statue that looks like it's off of the coat of arms of Mechanicsburg, so. Uh, which I haven't really done a lot with, but does exist out there. I think we made a wallpaper out of it one time. So here's another little doorway. Go up to the balcony and there, oh, no, oh, oh, clumsy. There, all right, there's Sergeant Blueberry, who does not really have much to, oh, they'll just, they'll just do a little spin for us. You don't have much to say to us right now. There's the Muse of Vengeance. And, um, what else is here? A picture of the Great Library under Paris. And, um, something that I can't do anything with yet, but I have a suspicion that I know what that'll be for, because I'm pretty sure that Dingbot's going to learn to glide at some point, but I don't know for sure. There's some more pictures of underneath Paris. And um, then we'll go back downstairs. One more look at the throne I can't sit on yet. And back out the little castle. These, just, these little castles are so funny. They just kill me. Uh, and then now I will actually have Agatha pick up the dingbot. And um, let's 
Let's see. There, she picked him up, put him back in her pocket. So I want to do a little bit of exploring before I do anything else. And there's another one of those, and I can't open this. And... Oh, you guys, there's this hilarious ghost noise going on, and I don't think it's the game. I think it's my phone telling me that somebody is walking in front of my doorbell camera. <laughs> but just so you know, I'm listening to this horrible ghostly noise. <laughs> All right, there's one of the dream, and there's one of the uh, mechanics for drop walls that comes down. And, ah! and here's something I can look at. Baron Klaus Wolfenbach, judge, jury, and executioner, if he has the time to spare. You can see that he's very popular. Uh, the tyrannical ruler of these lands and the man responsible for placing every sorry soul in this mechanical tomb. The beard really suits him. Oh, it does. It looks very good. Here we are. We are behind. Oh, and we have got more lore for that. That's good. And we're just behind this thing, and it's just pretty. It's just pretty. And I can go in it, and you can see that um, if I had unlocked more fast travel points, I, I would be able to go places, but I haven't, so I can't. But it's still pretty cool. And how much bravery does it take to walk into that? I, I don't know. It's like the mouth of truth in Italy. <laughs> we can put your hand in there, and maybe it'll bite it off. Um, ah, there you are. So... There's something else I can see. Nurses rhymes. There once was a girl in a house who slinked quietly by not to rouse, but the house had a cat, and how quick, just like that, it swallowed the girl like a mouse. Hey, I think I'm being threatened. Ah, oh, there's the, the fabulous sport of Mechanicsburg, the snail races. And I said this last time, but I'll say it again. I did try, and I cannot stand in the fire. I cannot. At least I can't hurt myself by standing in the fire. So, you know, there you go. These all kind of look like something I'll be able to do something with later, but I can't right now. Uh, oh, stuff. I got some stuff. All right. And this is also, I'm pretty sure, something I can't do much with right now. I think um, this is all... This is just for later, but I'm, I'm kind of guessing that there will be trophies. Like I said, I haven't actually seen the beta yet, so I'm really looking for- ooh, more stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing it, and I think I'll be seeing it tomorrow. I think that's what we decided on. Um, and the plan is to have the devs walk us through um, and, and show us the, the whole playthrough at first, and then I'll get to play it properly later. So here's a switch. Okay, I did poke around over there already. Here's a switch. And I opened the door. Do I want to go in there yet? I don't think I do. I think I want to go up here first. Yeah. Well, there's a little balcony. And I can't read that. I'm going to break that. I'm going to Excerpt from Revenge of the Weasel Queen, Book One. A terrible shadow looms over the town of Zoggletonk. A terror draped in skulls and leather, barely able to cover her sinister bosom. The Weasel Queen demands the delivery of young men, tall and stout like foamy dark beer. Oh my, what kind of book is this? When grilled with a fragrant aged cheese, she sizzles them in goat butter, lightly sprinkling. Oh, I've got to return this to the kitchen. It's a really gross cookbook. Okay. Uh, ooh. All right. Anyway, there is Zeta's mom. What's she doing here? I don't know. <laughs> and it reminds me of in, in World of Warcraft, there are occasional scandalous novels you can find here and there. <laughs> They're always fun. <coughs> it's not real lava, it's just a hot, fizzy orange water. I don't believe that. Okay, so here I am. 
You know, actually, I want to see if I can upgrade. If, I want to see if I found enough stuff to... Um... Oh no, don't feel bad for the clanks. It's just percussive maintenance. Okay. I want to see if I can upgrade my uh, wrench now. Because I did get a few more mats. So let's see. Oh no, I need... Oh no. I need a whole lot more stuff. Uh, well, I was able to upgrade last time. We'll see if I can upgrade this time. Maybe not. I might have to face the final boss of the, um, I might have to face the final boss of the demo without, let's see, many have thought that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. They have clearly never experienced the power supply supplied by a proper lightning strike. Ugh. Okay. Um, all right, here I am. And I hear something that wants to kill me. I just heard a little tick, tick, tick. Oh, it's the chickens. Yeah, that's, that's the chicken plank noise. It is amazing how quickly... Oh, maybe he wants to be my friend. Yeah, but I don't think so, actually. I better hit him a few times. Um, it's amazing how quickly when you're playing games you become really, really aware of... Um, oh, that sound. That sound means I have to look out. Uh. Impressive Dora, this must lead to the arena. That is the freezer. It hasn't been defrosted in years, so good luck getting in there. The arena is the other way. Hmm. Alrighty. Hmm. Okay, let's... Hmm. So I see some guys down there, and they're probably going to, to mean me harm. So I will... Oh, now I'm stuck. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see, I looked in there already. It's good that, uh, although I'm pretty sure they mean me harm, they're not going to come up here to hunt for me until... I still need to play this on, on, on you know, challenge mode, so the hard difficulty. I don't know how easy or hard that'll be. Okay, now this is kind of cool, because look at that. I, I think I'm going to be able to go in there later. You can kind of see that there's something beyond there. Like when I... Well, let's see, there, there, you can kind of see... There's something beyond there, but right now I can't, so. But it tells me that there will be more. And here we have a spinny thing, which I'm going to spin. And I see that it moves the chicken plank generator. No, no, no. You know what? I, I want to put that back. that spitting out chicken clanks just yet because I want to go down and fight those guys and the last thing I need is more chicken clanks getting in my getting underfoot so ha. okay let's see oh golly there's a chicken clank just free okay Ugh. well all right I said I was going to let myself get killed so that I could uh show you uh here I'll just I'll just stand here there we go oh and now Zola says I have to admit you surprised me I was expecting a challenge well hmm. okay so I can say resume from latest save or I could rage quit but I won't I will go back <laughs> you are what you eat so eat handsomely well I think that sounds good okay so where am I I'm here and now, oh, it's put them all back. Oh, it's put them all back. I think that means that all that stuff that I got, I don't get to keep. And let's see. I will say that last time I played through, I had actually upgraded my wrench twice by now. Um, and I don't know. This is just the thing I did before, so. I'm so glad I can run. It always feels good. When I play Majora's Mask, the first thing I have to do is run and get the bunny hood so that I can get around. Okay. Let's see. Door I can't go through. Uh, thing I don't want to do yet. Um, oh yeah, but I can do this. This is kind of fun. I can jump down and there's some stuff to break, so that's nice. And now there won't be a chicken 
And this time I am going to try not to get myself killed. I mean, I might still do it, especially if I play like a dope, but, um, ah! So these guys have a set way that they attack, and so, like, if I know they're gonna do that forward rush, I theoretically can dive out of the way, but, um, I don't always remember to do that, so. All right, and this is where I want to go. There's a bunch of boulders in the way, which I think is very one way of it. And then... Hmm. I can't hop back up there, but that's okay because I can run back up there. Look at that, I got hurt a lot anyway. I can... You know, I don't want to put the dingbot down. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Now I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them all the way over here if possible. Because I saw a secret and I want to show you the secret. So. Let's see if I can. Oh, I placed him wrong. Ah! Still a little bit awkward with this whole. Oh, psh, great! Now I'm dropping it into the lava. Uh, I'm so good at games. I'm the best. I'm like Ash Ketchum. I'm the best. All right. Can he never win it? Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's see how that worked. And this time I'm just gonna run back over because seriously, watching me try to jump is pathetic. Okay, there you go. Hmm. What? I overdid it. I overshot it. Did that do it? Ah, I did it. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. I have opened a secret passage. The secret passage has more gift baskets. Yay! Welcome to Castle Heterodyne. Here's your fruit basket. And there's a secret lycanthropic extract. Again, I don't know what that does because in the playthroughs I've done, I haven't found a use for it, but I'm guessing that uh, there will be a use for it later. And is that a hat? It looks like that looks like Bang's hat. There's a hat up there. It is Bang's hat. Alright, now I need some chickens in a better spot. I'm gonna try to, um, yeah, this should do. Oh, okay. I may have, ah, oh, there we go. Ah, clumsy fool. probably did it enough that I can get through. Yeah. Okay, now, before I do anything else, bah, run over this way, and I'm going to go back into the lab. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's called the square cube law, is it? Oh. All right. Back to the lab, and I hope that I have enough mats now. 
don't. I don't have enough. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, fine. I will just do my best to um, fight the boss and not die horrifically. Hey. That's probably fine. I think I know how to do this now. If you ever feel like the world is out to hurt you, rolling will make you invulnerable to damage for a short period of time. Yeah, definitely don't take that advice um, in the real world. Because I don't think it's true. I wouldn't know, though. I'm not very good at rolling. Alright. And it's not real lava. It's just hot, fizzy orange water. Oh, here is the arena. Behold, my very own Colosseum. Ha, you mean my Colosseum? Silence! Come now and meet me in glorious battle, impudent girl. Fine. Well, glorious battle it is. <laughs> we have chosen violence. That's fine. still get me. I haven't figured out how to roll properly. Oh, uh, well. <sighs> I'm... Oh, wait. I have coffee. There we go. Oh, God, that sounds so good. Okay. Yeah. Some coffee, and it's kind of late at night, so I should have some coffee. And here, this is so cute. I love this thing. It's so pretty, but I can use some of my mats, and I can top off my, uh, my health there. So. Hmm. Alright. Looks nice. Probably dangerous. <laughs> Big scary guys. <laughs> Not orcs, we swear. Um, and, oh, and there's Moloch over there, but I can't get to him. So. Let's go to this central thing to it. Oh, you've actually decided to walk into what is obviously a trap. Not a great start. I assumed any other way would lead to the real trap. Oh, oh, oh you're quite right. You may be some fun after all. But toys are only so fun until they break. Let's see just how sturdy you are. You know, you're the one who's supposed to say, attention! I'm afraid some of my clanks are getting rusty. I expect you to be a cordial and not mention it to their faces, but I'm sure they'll still be good enough for the likes of you. What are you? Muhaha! <laughs> Meet my ambidextrous fencing clanks. It is only polite that you now introduce yourself. And now it's going to drop some stuff on me that tries to kill me, so. Ah! This is definitely where my uh, <laughs> my wanting to use the controls differently is, is getting in my way. I'm tripping over myself. Alright. Oh. And again, if I were... Oh, well done then. You might actually be good for something. Is that all you've got? We do have an open position in the sanitary department now that you've shown you can sweep away the scrap. I believe I misplaced the last janitor in Dagon's abattoir. You're free to fetch his uniform if you like. Hope you're, as, um, hope you're adept at stitching as well. You're a pain. Oh, 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 compliments will get you places. I think I might have an unused uniform somewhere. And I have done the intro challenge. And now, I think I could go talk to Moloch. But before I do, I will show you that now there are some other things that I can do. I can do Boakaboom. And I can earn materials for it, which is kind of great because I did want to. Well, I actually don't know if I need to upgrade my wrench now that I've done the final attack. But, uh, Every time I do this, I get a little bit better at it. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So. And then 
projectile party. Oh, it's locked. Oh, interesting. Why is it locked? It wasn't locked. I thought I could do this last time. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Well, anyway, fine. I will go talk to... Oh, cozy chairs. I gotta sit in those. I will go talk to Mulok. Hey, look, I got it working. What? The transportation system should be an easier way to get around. One thing, though, the other one's round and... What? Oh, I think that's a, dis I think that's a typo. One thing, though, the other one's round and have to be activated, so just make sure you do that if you find one. Great, that'll save me some time. You're headed to the library, right? It's this way. The road isn't so straightforward. Ever considered learning to fly? Oh, great. Oh, and there's one of those things. I think science can handle this one. Time to go back to the lab and make a tool. Maybe I can use the fancy transportation system. And we discovered the arena and a blueprint for the grapple gun and moments of inspiration. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but there was a little icon there that was based on my, um, my artwork for when Agatha is, is making the, the spark coming and she has all those swirly um, all those swirly music notes which is me pretending that I've seen cheap music in the past so let's go to the hub via the, the fast travel if you're running low on time you can use the power lantern to reheat leftovers well I can't because I don't have it but if I did have it Let's see. I, I just, I cannot tell you how much I want these chairs in my house. I... Okay, so let's go back. And I think I can do anything to the Tesla coil, which is probably just as well. So, if I go down here, I have a grappling hook. And I can build it. Am I sure? Yes, I am sure. I want to build the grappling hook. So, let's see. Grapple gun. Haha, -ha. let's start with a rotor stabilizer. Yes, if that attaches to that, I'll make them attach to those. You can tell it's about science. It's like in, um, in Frankenstein. The entire description of, of the mad science in, Fra in the book Frankenstein is, I gathered about me the stuff of life. That's it. There you go. That's how he did it. He gathered about him the stuff of life. It's amazing. Thank you for those detailed instructions. I love it. Um, okay, so she says, now if I just modify the concept of linear space, oh, oh, oh if I tighten these gyros, the grip strength should, ha, over 4,000 PSI. Take that, rules of nature. And voila. Oh, I have, yet to, I have to say, might be my finest construction yet. And now we have the grappling tool. And because I am bad at reading my quest text, I last time did not really remember how to do this, but I remember how to do it now. So return to Moloch and use the grapple gun. Okay. Oh, let's see if I can upgrade my range now. Can I? Oh, nope. I'm still missing resources. Oh, my poor wrench. It's doomed to stay pathetic. Anyway, may I also, may I call out how beautiful this wrench is? It's so pretty. I love its little impractical components there. It's just, it's just gorgeous. And God, I hope somebody builds cosplay of this thing. I really, really do. Um, have I ever mentioned what a sucker I am for cosplay? Um, so let's go back. You know what? I'm going to use the, um, the fast travel here because I can. So. Oh, it said, oh no, I didn't, it said if you're ever overwhelmed, um, put on a hat, then you can be overwhelmed and fashionable. You know, it's good that Twitch has a slight delay because I, I was like, oh no, I missed that text. What did it say? And then I can look over there and see it. Um, okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, do you guys remember those t-shirts that were at every convention for a while about, I don't know, like five, ten years ago where it was like, character and the TARDIS 
It just any character and the TARDIS. It doesn't matter what character, no matter who they are, they look great with the TARDIS. <laughs> I love conventions. Okay, <laughs> here I am. I am back, and um, here I am with Moloch, and now he has something to say. If you're sure it'll work, go ahead. It does seem dangerous, doesn't it? I could fall to my death in the um, delicious not lava, but I don't think I will. Oh, wasn't there another place? There was like a secret somewhere. I am, s yeah, I know. I know. Squirrel. I saw... Ah! No! I saw a squirrel, and I'm going to run and... Okay, not a legit squirrel. An actual thing that I think I can do with my... Um... Hmm. Ah! <sighs> hmm. I guess not. I thought there was another grapple point. Fine, I'll go back and do the proper grapple point like I'm supposed to. Do, 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 do. But this time I will try not to impale myself on the spikes. Okay, there we go. The spikes keep getting me because I forget to look out for them and then I walk right into them. Um, this is also when I was in college and I took fencing. It was so much fun and I loved it, but God, I was, I was really, really good at fencing for like the first two days when I would just like run right in and, you know, beat their blade out of the way and, and get a hit. And then all of the smarter, smarter, faster kids figured out what I was going to do and they figured out how to drop their foil and just take me out in one. And I was never good at fencing again <laughs> because really uh, every... Um, molecule of genetics in my body says paint yourself a funny color take off all your clothes and run in screaming with your big sword that'll surely that'll win the day nothing could possibly go wrong uh but in the in truth i would just die um i'm bad at strategy so, um, okay so he says great just remember to activate those um transport maws if you see any oh yeah i'll do that and oh that's it that is the end of the demo